Hi, I'm Deepa Joshi. In this video, you are going to see how to perform upset operation in Salesforce using Power Exchange for Salesforce with Power Center. What is upset? Upset is a merging of the words insert and update. Based on a matching condition, a new record is inserted or an existing record is updated. This upset in Salesforce is a completely different method which does not involve the usage of router, update strategy or two instances of the same targets which are generally used for upset or merge in normal power center mapping logic. Let's see first how we can use an ID lookup field for upset. I have considered the case Salesforce object for the demo here. For easy testing purpose, I have created a mapping to load the existing case Salesforce data into an Oracle table. This in turn can be used for providing input data for upset and to cross verify how upset has taken place. Case output is the mapping shown here. I run this mapping and see that there are 37 records in case. I have to choose a field based on which I can update the existing record in Salesforce object. When I check the attributes of the case object, I see that ID lookup attribute value is 1 for both ID and case number. We cannot use ID field for upset due to a known limitation because it is a system generated unique number. Now I need to check which field value can be modified. The createable and updateable attribute values need to be 1. I have chosen supplied name here. I have modified the supplied name as new value 2 for an existing record and will send this data as input. I create a mapping case input as shown by joining just the case number and supplied name. In the session properties, I enable treat insert as upset and use this external ID ID lookup field for upserts option. I run the session and see that one record is affected. To cross verify, I will run the case output workflow again. Now we can see that the updated value is reflecting in the Salesforce data. Based on the case number, supplied name has been updated. Unfortunately, this case number, which is an ID lookup field, cannot be used for insert operation as this field is an auto number. Now let's do the upsert using an external ID field. I have created an external ID field at the Salesforce site under the case object, used data type text for it. This is not a read-only field and has editable attributes. Createable, updateable and external ID attribute values are set to 1. Now I import the case object again since the structure has changed after adding the new column. Similar to the previous step, I also create the mapping case out ext to load the existing records in an oracle table. This will have null values for the newly created column. I change the supplied phone for an existing record. I also create a new record where I provide only the value for external ID and rest all the columns have null. I pass these two records as input. I create a mapping case input ext by joining all the source columns with target except case number since this is an auto generated field and it is read only. In the session properties, I enable treat insert as upsert option. I give the name of the external ID field in use this external ID ID lookup field for upsert's attribute. I run this session and see that two records have been affected. To cross verify, I run the case out ext again and sort on the last modified date in the table and see the changes. Supplied phone is updated with the new value in the existing record. A new record is added with new ID and case number values. 
Now there are 38 records. You can also populate the external ID with the same values as that of the case number and use it for upsert or you can use new values. The knowledge base articles and change request numbers are mentioned in this slide. You can send or post your queries and feedback at below addresses. Thank you.